what's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me ab to check it out you guys read the title you know what i'm making i'm making some beef short ribs right hey listen this is a long time coming i done got like several requests to make this and don't know why you know what it is i'm gonna tell you why i don't make some things that it seem like it would be like the obvious is because of, listen i make a lot of food and like my favorite foods i usually just don't record it so with that being said listen i'm not gonna over talk it we finna get this stuff prepared we finna get it put in that crock pot and we're getting ready to make it happen let's get it all right you know what we're gonna start off by just showing the star of the show these are my short ribs this is a nice cut looks real good and that's a little bit over four pounds now here i'll start here this is rendered bacon fat from like all of my past bacon every time i cook bacon right so i add new bacon in and we got old so what I do is I churn it up so that we can use some of this also, right? So if you don't have rendered bacon fat, you can put four strips of uh, bacon. And if you don't want to use bacon fat at all, you can use a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Here, we got honey. Here, this is red wine vinegar. And right here, look, I got four garlic cloves. And when it comes to these right here, listen, I'm just gonna peel them Hit them with my uh, my knife, smash them down, and we're gonna add them like just like that. We got pepper. We got salt, and this is kosher salt. Then we got a couple of tablespoons of uh, soy sauce. This is regular soy sauce. Here, we got a third cup of flour. This is all purpose flour. Two tablespoons of butter. And here we got a large onion, right? I diced it. Now I'm gonna tell you about this. You can dice it, you can leave them long. It doesn't make a difference. I'm just in such of a habit of uh, dicing. I just did them like that. But normally I just like do a rough chop and then we add those like that. But this time I'm gonna just go ahead and you know use them obviously they already diced. And we got two cups of beef broth. And outside of that, oh, and you know we doing it in the crock pot. This is it right here, my digital crock pot. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's start browning. We're gonna start browning our uh, beef and uh, we're gonna go from there. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with the salt and pepper and we're gonna get these seasoned. Well, you know what, let me just say this. The first thing we're gonna do is, before we even start seasoning this, I'm using my cast iron skillet, right? Here it is right here. What we wanna do is we wanna bring this up to, you know, get my temperature right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my cast iron skillet hot and we're gonna start off on high. Then this will be the second thing that I do. So now you just wanna take it, take your pepper and your salt, no, no specific order or whatever. Just go ahead and just move it around or whatever and just put it in here. And you wanna do the same thing with your salt. We just gonna season this up and then as our cast iron skillet is coming up to temperature, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know brown these edges. So I just move it around like you see right now. You know what I mean? Uh, just make sure all the pieces touch one another. They transfer the salt and pepper onto different pieces or whatever. You can see it. That's what I like about using kosher salt and, uh, and pepper. You can see it, you know, on each individual piece. You just want to make sure you got it all over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to brown it. It's almost, you know, we're in some intense heat and we're going to bring some color to it. So you see how it's looking right now? Just wait. Can you guys see that? All right. Now what we want to do is just go ahead and hit it with like a heaping tablespoon of your bacon fat. Now remember, here are your options. You can use rendered uh, bacon fat with just one tablespoon. You can use one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, or you can put four slices of bacon and use that oil from that. Now you can see it's getting real hot. hot. And you can see right here where it like had all dissipated, right? Using a, an induction top, you can see this is where the heating element is. Trust me when I tell you that's hot, right? So I'll just move it around so we have something in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start introducing our short ribs. So we wanna brown them, so I'll just put them here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave them on here. It takes about four minutes. Now listen, if it's starting to brown too fast, go ahead and reduce it down to a, a medium high heat. But I start off on high and I check them. You guys can hear them. Listen, they doing their thing. Just about four minutes on each side, we're gonna brown the edges. 
and then we're gonna go from there. Now, let's take a look at the bottom of them. That's them right there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just set it up. We'll flip them over first. And this is after about, I'm gonna say it's four minutes now. I decided to go ahead, this can go a little longer. What you wanna do is you just wanna make sure it's brown like this right here. Now when you're flipping them over and you see one needs to be browned a little longer, just leave it that way and then you can flip it over once it's done. Now what you're seeing me do, do is, listen, I went four minutes on each side. Now I'm gonna give it about a minute just on the edges. We wanna bring some color to it. So I stand them all up. Sometimes you might have to get them where they prop up against each other, but whatever you have to do, you wanna get them like this to bring some color. Then I'm gonna flip it. And then until all the sides are done, after that, we're gonna take them and then we're gonna put them into our crock pot. Okay, this was the last batch. I got them browned on all sizes. So what I do again is I just drip dry them. Cause listen, we're gonna need those juices. You don't wanna squeeze them too much. Look, we're just gonna put them in our crock pot like this. I know you guys can see it. You can see this color on there and I know what you guys are saying right now. Hey look, I saved the best for last, huh? But check this out, this ain't the last. Listen, we got recipes coming. This is gonna be a fun time, 2020, so let's get it. But now you guys can just see, look at the color, and you can see some of this fat that did not render down, but it's gonna serve a purpose also. Now, let me show you the next step. Now, we back up to temp. I'm gonna go ahead and just add this, and I'm gonna add it away from me. Now, we just gonna saute these down and render these down until they become golden brown. Once they become golden brown, I've already smashed, look at that. I've already smashed and peeled my garlic, and then we'll add that, just for about one minute. Just enough to, once we start smelling it, then we move on to the next step. Now here, I'm bringing you guys close in for like the new people. You know, when I say golden brown, I want you to look at this piece right here. Look at the edges of it. You can see it's starting to turn that brown, get those brown edges on there. Now we starting to become golden brown. You can see some of these smaller pieces are getting like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix it up. Look, now you can see what it looks like underneath. And I can tell you, listen, that beef and the onion with just a hint of this uh, bacon, bacon fat, listen, it's incredible. It's got my mouth watering, you know what I mean? I'm trying to work with it. Now, I'm liking what I see. This is good when you capture that. Now we just gonna go ahead and just add our garlic. Right, I'm gonna kinda like break it up a little bit. Just drop it in here, like so. And look, we just gonna let it stay in here about, maybe about 30 seconds. Constantly keep moving. Once you can smell it, you know once it's fragrant, then we are gonna move over to the next step. Now what you wanna do is you wanna introduce your two tablespoons of butter, right? So listen, you wanna keep it moving and you can watch how quickly it, you know, starts to melt, right? Once it's done melting, then we are gonna introduce our flour. And then, I'm gonna tell you the key. If you guys been watching me for a while, you know when we making these gravies, you know these gravies like this, listen, you gotta keep it moving. So notice my right hand is just constantly moving. You keep stirring and then you intro introduce your flour in increments, right? And then when that's done, after you keep going and then you, you know, you reach the color that you're looking for, you wanna add your uh, beef broth. And now you just wanna keep it going. You can see how it thickened up, right? And then our white, our red wine vinegar, soy sauce, and then last, it'll be our honey. Now, listen, you wanna mix it, you know, stir it well, get all of your ingredients incorporated, you know, and keep it moving, right? Look at the color. That's the color you wanna achieve. That's that nutty flavor. You know what I mean? Hey, all I can tell you is it's good. Now you wanna go ahead and taste it and then make any adjustments you would like to. So for me, I just added to my liking, I went ahead and hit it with a couple of pinches of that kosher salt, and that just woke it right up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this. Let me do it so you guys can see. On to here. As you guys can see, look at that. Let me bring it like this so you guys can see. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set our, ourselves a timer. Now it's up to you. If you're gonna cook it on high, you can go for four hours. And if you're gonna cook it on low, we're gonna just double that and it'll be eight hours the perfect busy schedule meal. Okay, my timer just went off. It's been four hours, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh yeah. 
or what you guys are telling me what you think. Now look, we gotta be careful, right? Meaning, listen, this meat is tender. We don't wanna like dislodge it from the bone, right? So we gonna kinda like try to figure out how to stir this up just a little bit. Oh man, look at this. Here, let me just bring one up for you. Now you guys can see it real good. But what I'm trying to do is just make a little room you know what I mean? So we can just like give it a little stir, you know, mix it up and then we gonna plate it. Look, if we wanna cook it longer, we can. It'll render down some of this fat, but I can tell you now that this meat is fall off the bonus. And listen, you wanna leave some of this on here cause that's what makes it succulent. So just leave it. Let's just go ahead and uh, get it on the bowl, you know, in a bowl or a plate, however you wanna do it. And if you can see this one right here, look, it's kind of like coming off of the bone. We just want to be real careful with it. Now, right here, as you can see, I serve my short ribs over a bed of rice, right? But you guys can put them over, you know, like mashed potatoes. It does, you know, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, what would you even serve this on top of or with or whatever. Now, you can see right there, those veggies, that's the California blend. That's like my favorite. Let me know what you guys gonna serve it with, like as far as vegetable wise, and what you gonna serve it as far as like putting it on top of. And as you can see, hey listen, that was the money shot, y'all. And that right there, listen, with a little garnish, you know the rest. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. You know what, this is just another easy crock pot recipe, and you wanna talk about having a, uh, a meal that's delicious with that boom explosion, this is it. Hey, and you know what, I can't quit smiling right now because I gotta taste it. You guys know how I feel about eating on camera, but hey, check it out. We finna get us a piece right now. Oh yeah, here it is right here. Hey, you know what, let's do it like this. I hope you guys can see it. Look how tender this is. It fall off the bone. You don't need no fork. You don't need to pick it up. You don't need, hey, you don't need nothing. Check it out, here we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm. Hey, I can't say it enough. Listen, I'm now I'm in a rush because I'm ready to eat. You guys got to try it. Let me know down in the comment section below, you know, what you guys think of this if you have never, ever had it. But I can tell you this, listen, after we get past tomorrow, I want everybody to run out there Saturday, go pick you up some, and let's get them in the crock pot and let me know what you guys think. Hey, so with that being said, let me just take this time to say, hey, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, and I'm gonna look down at it one more time because I'm about to get it, folks, and I'm out of here. Peace.